My guest today has been looking for her biological mother for 15 years. She's here to share, and we're here to listen. Everyone, welcome Jenny Thomas. Hello. So, I must say, I came across your story on social media. I thought it was very inspiring, so I'm like, hey, I want to cover this show, so I want to say thank you for coming on my show. I appreciate you having me. No problem. Really no problem. So, at what age did you find out that you were adopted, and how did that make you feel? I distinctly remember a conversation with my adoptive parents um, at four years old. And um, I don't think it was actually a surprise because this is something that I already kind of knew even at a young age. Really? Yes, because I had um, memories from foster care. Okay. Uh, even as a, as a baby, funny enough, mm -hmm. I would always ask my parents, where was I when this was going on? I, I, I saw these faces and these weird people and this was happening. I was very specific and I repeated these things over and over and they finally sat me down at four and said, okay, we gotta tell her because... Wow, at four this, years old. At four years old and I remember the conversation. Wow. So how did you feel when you told your adopted parents that you wanted to find your mother? Um, actually, my adopted parents, my adopted mother died mm -hmm. in... in um, Oh, five. Okay. And the conversation, we really didn't have too many conversations prior to, um, you know, me finding her. Mm -hmm. uh, it was kind of a touchy subject, um, very sensitive. And I don't even think that they were as sensitive about it as I was about how they could potentially feel. Right. My adopted father is completely supportive That's great. and um, applauds me for even even doing it. That's great. Yeah. Do you feel like children around the world who you know who are adopted? Do you feel like there's ever a time where they're eager to find their real parents, or maybe they don't want to know that part of them? I can speak for myself, um, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate as adoptees. Um, you go through fluctuations. You know, it's a roller coaster ride. There's times in your life where things are incredibly tough. Exactly. And then there's times where things are pretty even killed and, and going pretty good in your life and you're like, uh, it's not time yet. Yeah. So you, you it's a it's a complete roller coaster ride of emotions. What was the number one thing that you wanted to ask your biological mother when you you know when you met her? Like what was that number one question? The question that all adoptees wanna know is why? 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 What would make a mother give away their child? That's that's deep, right? Um, you know, and it's so complex because you are dealing with the emotions of her, of you, of your adoptive parents, of other people's opinions. It's it's it has so many layers. Another question I wanted to ask was the health questions. Mm -hmm. Being that I hit 40, I needed to know some pertinent yeah. health stuff. Exactly. You know, breast cancer specifically. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, how did your your kids feel when you told them that you that you were adopted? How did they take that? Honestly, I can't remember them not knowing. It's very strange. I guess that was something that I kind of changed with my children is for it to become become conversation in our household mm -hmm. um, and not hide it. Yes. Did you you know? Did you were you depressed? Like, how was it growing up? Or did your family who raised you make you feel like? comfortable and didn't really worry about being depressed or anything. You feel empty inside? Uh, yeah, you, you do. Um, personally, I felt a complete void of who I was. I mean, I knew my, I had strengths and, and, and gifts and, and, and great things about myself and I also knew I had some things that I needed to work on, but I didn't know where do these things come from? Yeah. Where is this DNA connection? That was the missing link. Mm -hmm. My adoptive parents and I went through some struggles okay. in my teen years and preteen teen years. Um, so that made things a little bit more difficult yeah. as far as not knowing. Um, and we re I didn't really have family mm -hmm. from my adoptive parents. So you didn't have any siblings or anything? Had, had a, a, a brother that was adopted as okay. well. But extended family, cousins, aunts, uncles. And you, you see people with their families and you long for that. Yeah. So you do hit some depressing times mm -hmm. in your life when you don't know. Yeah. When you found out your biological mother, she was actually someone you knew. Knowing that you saw this lady plenty of times. Complete shock. Wow. She would probably be the least likely one that I would have looked at to say, my God, I, I kind of 
feel a connection. Never an inkling at all um, of words because I didn't have anything. I, I, I was blown away. Mm -hmm. I was completely blown away. I, I never imagined in a million years I had worked with this woman side by side. Never in a million. So when you found when you found her, did they have like a picture or they just had like the name? You just knew the name. They showed me a picture. Wow. They showed that me a picture. So before they amazing. showed me the picture, they said you may know this one. Mm -hmm. That's when my heart dropped. I was like, oh my god. And then when they showed me the picture, I was like, wow. Wow. Yeah. Did you did you cry? Um, I was already crying. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I found out that they found her. Just just so knowing that they found her with just tears of joy, like wow. Like first of all, she's alive. Yeah. She's happy. She's safe. You know, all yeah. of those things that you want to know. You, you, you have the yeah. answer to, but then to find out that I knew her was And like, what about just being in the same city alone? You know, you always wonder, did she move out of town? Did she die? God forbid. Um, you know, did she relocate, marry, have a right. you know, wonderful family? I do have siblings. I okay. I have siblings on her And were those side. people that you saw as well? No, okay. I, I, di I didn't know them. Um, but I do have siblings on um, her side. I have siblings on my father's side as well. Um, I want to know who my dad was, though. Yeah. You know, that was, that was one of the first things that I wanted to know also. Um, so do you know who your father is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when they found her, they found your father as well? Yes. Okay. They found my father. Unfortunately, he passed away. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. But, um... I know who he is. Did you have a picture of? Did they show you a picture of him? Yeah, I have a picture. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You have a picture. Of yeah, him. yeah, and and I've connected with his family. He had mm -hmm. 17 brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. So this whole city is filled with cousins wow. and aunts and uncles. A lot of them have moved away, but mm -hmm. um, I'm in constant contact with one of my uncles. Okay. Uh, Jake Monroe. Wow. And shout out to my uncle. He wow. he is very supportive. That always there so for me. Great. That's yeah. so great. There's, it's, it's very complex though. Mm -hmm. um, it's 1975, mm -hmm. so you know, racial tensions. Mm -hmm. I am half black, mm -hmm. so that's that's a big aspect of why I was given away. You're giving away a life based on African ancestry that runs through their body. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That is true. Um, there's a lot of people that give their children away because you know, they're in a position where they have to, and I'm sure that was the case for her too, but when it's based on your race, that's unacceptable in my opinion. So, like, is, is your children, like, eager to meet her and excited for you? In your, in your family and your friends? I don't think it's going to pan out. Really effective? I don't think, I don't think that that's going to be the case in this situation. So, how do you feel? After all of this, the searching for 15 years, do you feel complete? Do you feel like if you had to start over, would you still do it? I would absolutely do it. I would encourage anyone to do it. Um, I do feel complete. I feel like a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. It's not really about anyone having a relationship with you because you've made it up to now. It's really about you possessing your truth. It's really about you knowing your lineage, your history, your namesake. Who created you? You have the right to know that exactly. as a human being. What advice would you give someone watching right now who know they're adopted or may feel that they're adopted and want to find their biological parents? Like, where should they go and what should they do? First and foremost, I would encourage anyone to look at um, online uh, databases, adoption databases, sign up with some adoption um, databases, and um, you know, submit their information. Even if it's minimal information, just like your birth date, I didn't have any key identifying information. I had a birth date, I had half black, I had city, and that was pretty much all I had. If you don't hit there, I would encourage people to go and do a DNA test. Um, I'm, I don't know if I can say the, the site, but there are DNA sites out there that they can access, submit their information, and it will connect them to family members. And they can so start with all stuff. Like, is yeah. it a lot of money? Um, I know that some of them have discounts, forty-nine dollars to seventy-nine dollars, but it's well worth it if you can sacrifice that 
to give yourself some peace of mind, that's true. I would say go for it. That's true. And go for it with boldly. Mm -hmm. Don't go for it halfway. Yeah. Go for it because you know that that's what you needed. Exactly. And if you don't, then more power to you too. And if I could just say yeah, uh, an another thing, I just want to encourage people to start to bring up the conversation of adoption. It's something we've kind of steered away from in this country. A lot of people adopt outside of the country and there are so many children waiting to be adopted and be loved. So, and, and I want to say that my adoptive parents were wonderful regardless of what we went through. I, I wouldn't be here without them. You know, whoever's tuned in that you guys, you know, took something from this and hopefully what she just told you guys that you guys will take it, go online, there's resources out there, do what you have to do if you feel like you want to feel complete to know who you are. Do what you have to do and everyone. Jenny Thomas. Thank you for having me. No, thank you for coming on the show. Absolutely. Yeah.